So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video and a brand new Road to Glory. So the Road to Glory which you're going to be seeing over on the YouTube for the next week is going to be zero to a million in 20 hours. How this Road to Glory works is I have got 20 hours across seven days to make a million from a brand new account. Uh, now the 20 hours we spread across three hours a day with one day having two hours, therefore making up the 20 hours. And uh, yeah, it will be streamed over live on Twitch if you do want to check that out. Now, the time is going to go down when we're obviously listing up players, um, when I'm sniping players or building SBCs. Uh, but because I'm streaming this, I'll be doing a lot of times where I'll be just talking to my Twitch chat so the time will pause. Uh, when I'm taking breaks for reading my chat, otherwise it'd make it a very, very hard challenge as such. So, uh, as I say, we have done this Road to Glory previously, uh, which we did actually pass the Road to Glory, but it should be interesting how we do it now, because since I me mean, last doing this Road to Glory, I've learned a lot, a lot of different methods, and I believe I've become fairly good at trading, but I've also slightly lost my touch with silver trading, which means uh, you guys who used to me sitting here doing silver trading might be quite happy, because I actually defaultly won't be doing too much silver trading via, you know, me losing my touch and not doing it too much. Um, and yeah, so I believe, without further ado, we're going to start the timer and uh, start this. Now, I so say we are starting on zero coins, so I'll walk you through a few of the uh, the ways how we'll uh, get our way up. But without further ado, start the time and pick the nation. So the nation you're going to go for right here is normally going to be England. The reason for this is because a few of the SBCs need four different leagues. And obviously the English League, well, England has four different leagues. You've got the Scottish League, the Irish League, and the MLS. Oh, that's nice. Nice little foot birthday thing. And... We get a column ball player. Okay, that's interesting. Might be quite useful for an SBC. We're going to get a few of them. We actually get two of them. Interesting. Now, the players you're more interested in right here are your golds. And those golds are going to be Stevens, Wright Phillips, and uh, Dawson. You're also looking at silvers and ideally wanting guys from weird leagues. Not really anyone from a weird league there. Uh, we also get a Prem player and a few others. But, yeah, it's not too bad. And, obviously, this is kind of irrelevant because they want you to get a lone player. And, obviously, a lone player. Sorry. There you go. A lone player is completely irrelevant because you're not doing anything with it, so we're just going to get rid of that. And it normally does take a second. Now, what we're going to come up to is arguably one of the most important things about starting a new Road to Glory. And that is the kits. Now, the reason the kits are important is because these cards are actually tradable. Which means, one, you're going to get coins from discarding them. Two, you can get coins if you can sell them. Now, I'm looking at them right here and I'm thinking, well, that's going to be a bronze kit. That's going to be a gold kit. I ideally want a gold kit, so I'm at least going to get 150 on a discard. I'm thinking either Wolves or Napoli. Now, I'm looking at that Napoli kit thinking that's probably not a bad kit. Plus, I know that's rare gold. I presume Wolves is rare gold, but we're going to take the Napoli kit right there. And there we go. Uh, we're moving on to the second kit. Now, again, that's quite a nice kit, so that might sell on. But it's a little bit risky to go for that kit. Because, basically, if you don't get two gold rare kits, you could screw yourself over. So, we're going to play it safe and probably go and run the Belgium kit. So, again, that's going to give me another 150 coins. Finally, you got your badge. Again, you know, you might be able to get a badge that sells on. I'm going to go off the presumption that Dortmund has a higher chance of selling on than France. So there we go. We're going to take the Dortmund badge right there. So there's a, uh, a very happy looking Thiago Silva. Uh, play now. So what we're going to do is, if it will let me in straight away, is I'm going to show you how we're going to get those initial coins. There we go. It's going to tell me how to play the game, how kind of them. We're going to back out there and head over to the club. Now, what we can do, and I say you're always going to do this to start off, is you're going to head over to your club items and you're going to go first off switch these to the basic kits you get given so we're going to make Crawley our basic badge we're going to make whatever that name is our home kit and we're going to go make this one our away kit and again now what we'll be able to do is we're now able to go and sell our gold kits which is again going to give you those starting coins so the first thing I want to see is okay will anyone buy the Dortmund badge off me survey says I might, I might get a 200 coin sell but I'll be honest I'm probably best do I want to try and take a punt and get a 200 coin sale? Hmm. No, no, they're not selling on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and discard that. That's going to give me 56 coins. With that, we're going to head a look at Napoli. And we're going to go, okay, well, Napoli kit. Is anyone buying this kit? I'd tell you what. We might not do too bad on the Napoli kit. We might actually get, like... I might go and list it up for 200 coins because... It... Ooh. I'm going to go for a 200 coins. I'm going to take a risk with that one. Because uh, there are a few basic SBCs, so... That'll kill a little bit of time anyway. So finally we've got the Belgium kit. And are the Belgium kits looking likely to sell? Survey says with this. Again, we're hitting. I actually might get 200 coins to the Belgium kit. Yeah, yeah, I think I will. So let's go and list up the Belgium kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to now go and do the basic SBCs. Maybe see if there's the odd objective to do. 
But the starting off, you've got to do the basic SBCs before you can actually go and do any of the tradable SBCs. So, as you'll be able to see, the timer has gone down, and that's because I've just been doing the basic SBC. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go and submit the last one of these, and now it's going to allow me to do the tradable SBCs. Now, good thing is, uh, both the Napoli and the Belgian kit sold on, which, again, was really no surprise. Both were going for minimum, and uh, as we searched them, both were a little bit rare. So... What we're looking for right now is we are looking to... This one doesn't madly matter, but we're going to go and crack on the way the basic tradable SVCs off this. Lovely. But uh, it's the more the second pack. The second pack, we're hopefully going to get a rare gold and a silver. But again, we'll get more bronzes right here we can use in SVCs. Um, yeah, might work. And there you go. Here's the one where you're hoping... I've had a... Uh, what have I had? I've had like Jimenez's in this in the past. So I have a good players. Are we going to get anything good? We're going to get a UCL card? Okay. High rated maybe? Sabitzer. Okay. 81 rated UCL card. That's not bad. Uh, problem is that won't actually count as a rare in the advanced SBCs, which is annoying. But we do get two goals. So, not bad. Now, what we're going to do is, I could do a little bit of trading, but I prefer to use my coins to now go and complete one of the basic tradable SBCs. And that is this one right here. So, we're going to start off with the one league attack. Now, the one league attack is quite an interesting one to do. Basically, um, well, I need to have three players. Otherwise, actually, I might have to do a little bit of sniping. So, do I have three players from one league, all the different nations? That's probably the league I'm going to go for. Yeah, that'll be the league I'm going to have to go for. But what I'm actually going to have to do before I do this is I'm actually going to have to go and snipe a silver. Uh, because we're on 400 coins, obviously I can't really go out and... Um, I can't really go out and buy three players. Because uh, obviously you need a minimum of 450 coins for that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and snipe a uh, silver. Can we get him? I might try and snipe a Premier League silver using uh, one of these. Oh, I can't buy him. So sad. I might try and pick a bit of, a, bit of an easier league. Let's try the Bundesliga right now. And again, I'm just going to go 450 coins. Let's see. The annoying glitch is happening. So we're going to go silver, Bundesliga, 450 coins. Is it... Okay. I might have to pick an easier league. Maybe silver league un. I'm basically trying to find a league where I could snipe a silver. Okay. So if I snipe any silver for 400 coins, I'll be going seven for 500 coins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and snipe a league and silver for 400 coins. And then I'll come back to you. That guy, I think, was actually worth like 3k, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, we're just going to sit here, keep pressing compare price back out until we can go and get ourselves a silver for 400 or below. Or below. Come on. There we go. Did not take too long whatsoever. And we got ourselves in the Yang right here at 300 coins. Don't tell me he's one of these bangers. Oh! Ha! <laughs> we are starting the road to glory on a bit of a banger. Okay. Well, let's have a little look what Niang is going for. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to pretty heavily underlist him just so I can get him sold on and we can get them basic uh, basic uh, SBCs done. But that is amazing, though. Uh, Legan, uh, heading over to FC Met, Silvers. Like, what can I sell you for? Oh, that is amazing. Uh, I'm going to go and list him up for about 2 point... I'm going to list him up for 2.2k. I'll undercut okay, just so then we can get the ball rolling. So... Not bad. Uh, our first trade of the Road to Glory, and we're going to turn over a probably a 1.8k profit. But yeah, not too bad whatsoever. So we've uh, used those coins we got from that league and flip, uh, as you can see right here. So 2.2k. I literally undercut it. I literally undercut them by like you know a k. So they're always going to sell on fast. Uh, and we've got these two guys. These two guys are going to help me with one of the generic SBCs. Um, in this generic, uh, do you know what? I might have mugged myself off. I might have used the same African team twice. I wouldn't be too comfortable in saying I know what the African team's called. I haven't, have I? Or is the other guy Azerbaijanian? I haven't gone to actually, have I? No, okay, yeah, I think it's from Azerbaijan. I thought I used that team twice, which... Or nation twice, sorry, which... Yeah. Alright, so, but yeah, this team right here, obviously, this guy and trade with this guy and trade will just show boys this guy for 200. So this SBC right here has cost me 500 coins. And you'll be very happy to know that this SBC... Generally gives off a silver players pack, which, as you know, at the moment, silvers are worth loads and loads of money. So, bear in mind, a 300 coin SBC, this is arguably a amazing booster to the uh, to the beginning. In fact, fun fact, this pack actually uh, quick sells for 1.2 to, I think, 1.5k. So, I generally would be making 1.2k even with quick sell, but it's obviously going to be interesting to see what you get. A lot of league SBCs, a lot of expensive players. Let's go and see what we're going to get in the silver pack. So... The first tradable pack of the Road to Glory. What are we going to get ourselves then? We get ourselves the lights. Come on, just an expensive league SBC player. Left wing. Oh, so I know Barnet are, um, I believe that's Barnet, are in the championship SBC, which can work. You're not good. You're not good. Okay, Irish player. That's good for the Ireland SBC. That's good for the Ireland SBC. Um, not the best, I'll be completely honest with you. Let me just make sure he's worth a little bit money. Oh, wow. Oh, that's brilliant. So he's about 3k. Wheeling dealing. 
That's, I mean, that's a 4K right there. Um, and then bro, bro, this guy. Oh, yeah, he's about 700 coins. But there you go. I'll take that any day. Um, yeah, and then other than that, obviously, we're looking a little bit lacking. But not too bad whatsoever. Probably about 6K from the first SBC. I'm going to go get these listed up and uh, crack away with the other two basic SBCs. So we've gone and done the uh, the next SBC, which he gave me to go and buy this guy for 200. Oh, gosh. Can we get there? Uh, I love formations. Uh, this guy for 300 and this guy for 200. So 700 coins right now for a 7.5k pack. I have seen a worse deal uh, in my life. So let's go and see what we're going to get then. So again, generally you get in a pack for one tenth of the price. And again, these are all in the basic SPCs. So I presume you guys would have already done this. It's not going to be a walkout or a boards or anything like that. So we just go and skip it. Are we going to get anything of value right now? We get a broad press. At least that's a rare... We get you. I'm really not going to bother with the uh, contracts. I don't think it's worth my time. And the survey says send me the CDM. Uh, I believe you're like 800 coins for this then. So, yeah, not too bad of a uh, of a first pack, a Goose Dissen. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make sure to go and sell this pack on. And we're now going to crack underway with the last of the basic tradable SBCs. So, I've now done the last of the SBCs. So, this one you literally just go for uh, three sets of uh, nation slash league links. Uh, all costing 200 each, so obviously that's 1.2k for yet another 7.5k pack, and it's going to go and give us a mix pack. So we're sitting, uh, oh, sorry, got to make sure we're using that timer. Uh, we're sitting at obviously about 27 minutes done. We've got our, we've got the ball rolling. Obviously, the coins you'd hope are going to be built up a little bit faster than this, but uh, and so we're just getting the ball rolling right now. So after this, I can pretty move underway some advanced SBCs, but I believe that wait, is this not boards? This is a boards, I believe. Okay, Spanish. Goalkeeper, Casillas. Oh, it's Kepa, 84 rated Kepa, lovely. I think he's probably going to be about 3, 4k. Not bad, uh, and that was just a 7.5, was it not? And we get Naibu Gomez, we get a striker centre forward. Not bad, we get rid of these contracts, get rid of that. Move him up there, but... And a Dejan Lovren, high rated uh, non rares Beautiful, beautiful start. And now let's go move underway of our mix pack. Obviously, there's so many expensive bronze and silvers, so... See what we're going to get out of this. Okay, so the uh, the rare is not the gold, but that does not matter. Bear in mind, there's so many expensive silvers. Four silvers in that. Anything of value? Okay. No, I don't know if you are... No, you're not really holding much value. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, not amazing. I think one or two of these guys might be worth around about a K. Am I right? There we go. We're not wrong. So, yeah, what we're going to do right now is we're probably going to go and sell on the players that are of value in that SBC. And then probably crack underway with a little bit of silver trading, which I'll go and show you. So, we've gone and guided the club, so let's go and give you guys a little update how it's going. Let's continue up that timer. Uh, so, 15 things are sold on, and it's looking pretty good. So, all this stuff is obviously stuff that's been packed, which is lovely. Uh, and yeah, and there's basically, basically it's just all the stuff we got in the basic SBCs. So, now we've got all this still selling on. We've basically fully gutted the club. I mean, we'll have a look what Wright Phillips is worth. I can't imagine he's much more than 400. We'll list him at 400. And now we're going to crack underway the first trading method. Because I could just do advanced SBCs. And I'll be honest with you. Doing advanced SBCs would probably be the most effective thing right now. But I want to change it up a little bit. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be using Silver Bundesliga Basic. Basically, this is a sniping filter that allows you to get some good deals. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and go and set the highest maximum bid without there be... Sorry, ma highest maximum buy now without there being two... Well, sorry, two or more cards over an hour. So it can be one card over an hour, and that's it. So, silver, Bundesliga, basic, and then find the highest buy now you can have without there being any more than two cards over an hour. So at the moment, it's looking pretty good. Now, with this filter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on the fifth and ninth minute and keep pressing compare price back out. What this is going to do is this is going to refresh the market. Now, the benefit of refreshing the market is obviously you can see what cards are just being listed, and as a result, you can see if there are any good deals. Uh, how do you know it's a good deal? You've kind of just got to learn the market yourself. Uh, you can do this by buying cards, selling cards, and then obviously you can buy a card and it wouldn't be a good deal. Because um, let's say it's worth less, and as a result you don't buy in the future. But really it's just a uh, learning curve of yourself of learning the prices. So again, I'm just going to sit here, press, press compare price back out. And then if I uh, get any good deals, obviously I'll go and show you. But as I say, right now I'm just looking for it cards. I haven't done silver train for a while, but uh, I can give or take remember who is expensive. So... I say the plan of action will be compare price back out and then I'll show you in about five minutes time uh, what deals we managed to get. So I've been doing this method for five minutes and uh, well, let's go and show you guys uh, what we've managed to get in the five minutes of doing this method. We've managed to get ourselves eight deals. So start off here with uh, Pongratic. Uh, got this guy for 750 but looks things I'll probably get a, I'll get a 1.6 out of that so not bad. 900 coins on the first deal. Uh, second deal, got Tory for 700, not too, yeah, probably only going to get 800 on him, so nothing crazy. Next card, I uh, got this guy 650, I'm really not expecting too much out of him. Yeah, we'll probably go 800 on this guy as well. 
Next card, uh, we got this guy for 700. Survey says probably a K, I imagine. Yeah, we'll listen up for a K. So, again, little coins on a few of these, but then good coins in a few, you know, on the odd one. Uh, going for 700. Survey says. Not bad. Uh, well, like 1.7 maybe, so 1k profit on that one, hopefully. Uh, this one got for 200 coins, bit of a banger. Uh, again, I can only presume another 1.7, so 1.5k on that card. Uh, this one, Paulinho, got a 650. I missed like two or three of this guy. This guy's quite good because he's a Brazilian right mid, but actually only going to get 950 out of that, so another 300 coins right there. And moving underway, the final card right here, we got uh, Gross, which was 650, and I'll probably only push for 850. So now what we're going to do is, because we've got a lot of coins, um, we've got a fair few coins. We're not going to crack underway with some of the advanced SBCs. I'd say doing advanced SBCs would actually be more effective than silver trading, but because I want to, you know, give you a bit of variety and obviously teach you guys how to trade uh, on a low budget, we're going to, you know, do a variety of silver trading, then a bit of advanced SBCs. Silver trading, advanced SBCs. But yeah, without further ado, time to crack underway with some advanced SBCs. So we've gone and done two more SBCs. We've uh, gone and done the seven leagues one, uh, which is going to cost us. I mean, these are all 400 coins a piece, so. Just shy of probably 5k for a Prime Election Pack is not too bad. And then we've got our second one right here, which you're going to use a bunch of our untradeable players over here. And uh, as a result, it's generally going to cost us like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I think it's cost us 1.4k for a Prime Mix Pack, so not too bad right there. Again, just making the most of all our untradeable players. So, two more packs to go and open up, and then we'll probably do a little bit more Silver Train, because I do want to, I do want to give you guys variety and... You know, there's a, my chat will always joke about this being a pack road to glory if I just sit here and opening SBC a pack, uh, SBC packs. So uh, yeah, we will uh, mix this up with a little bit of silver trading and a little bit of SBCs at the beginning. So first pack, if I'm not wrong, is at least a boards. We're actually we are going to get just a boards in it. It is going to be. Uh, oh, is it going to be the likes of Ziyech? God, that was a bit embarrassing. I couldn't think of him for for a sec. But that is going to be about seven eight k. Obviously, the SBC only costing us about one point two. If I'm not wrong, Ziyech Cruz, not bad. Iceman. Are we going to get this guy? Oh my. Oh my, let's go, a 7k silver in there as well, anything else I'm missing? I mean, this guy isn't worth another like 1.5 or 2k, so what an amazing pack, that's like a 20, 25k uh, pack if I'm not wrong, you're worth about 10k, right? Yeah, it's about 25k SBC pack right there, that's why SBCs are so OP at the beginning, because that can just launch you, absolutely launch you at the beginning, which you can't get via trading, and again, that's yet another boards, and it's not going to be a walkout, but... Again, that's that's just why these are so appealing. It's gonna be Italy, Italy. It's gonna be strikers. So many of them. It's uh, quite a Can't see wing speed, but yeah, it's uh, it's just absolutely insane uh, how these SBCs can absolutely catapult you. Uh, and with the likes of Silver, he's gonna get this guy's useful for his league SBC. If I'm not wrong, there you go, another 1.5. Uh, obviously, these guys will sell them for generic SBCs. Um, and yeah, obviously, you know, another player used for his uh, relative league SBC, but not too bad. That's probably gonna excel us onto about 30, 40k. Uh, and the next thing you'll see, we'll probably show you that Bundesliga League method, but we're going to do it with, let's say, the counterweight. So, arguably flute a little bit here. Uh, so, to build that Argentina SBC you just saw, I mean, just uh, run the time again. Uh, to see the Argentina SBC you just saw, you would have seen... Basically, I picked them all up here, going uh, gold Argentina 400 coins by now. I actually went and bought this guy because he's relatively high rated. Well, footbin... Uh, footbin is saying he's worth 2k. And it actually makes sense, because if you think about the buying Leverkusen strikers... Uh, actually, no, it doesn't make sense. He's probably just cheap than or something like that. But he is actually normally worth 1k because he's used to the advanced SBCs. But yeah, so I accidentally, I guess, just going to make myself about a k via sniping him. So we've gone and had a few cards sold on. Obviously, this was all stuff that was packed for. That guy got for 700 coins. Uh, that guy got for like 700. That guy got for 700. That guy got for 200. That guy got for 700. And so on and so on. So we've gone and sold a uh, bunch of stuff on right here. And we're just selling a bunch of stuff we packed as well. So. Should be close to about 50k, I believe. Now what we're going to do is we show you that method earlier with the uh, Bundesliga. We're going to do it with the counterway. So you go silver, counterway, basic M slow, and you've got to find the uh, the highest spino you can have without there being any more than two cards over an hour. So you can have one card over an hour, but two cards over an hour, that's just too many. Uh, so let's keep on scrolling. And again, once you're there, you're going to be looking for the expensive players. Now they have an okay knowledge of counterway, but it's not as good, so it should be, uh, should be interesting. So... The buy now is actually looking like it will probably only be about 600 coins, I presume. Might as well look at some deals while I'm here. Okay, so yeah, 700 coins, 650. Uh, I'm going to have to go down to 600 by looks things. So, <laughs> so you're going to go silver, Bundesliga, basic chem, so 600. I'm going to scroll to the fifth and ninth minute now. And I'm going to continue pressing compare price back out. 
until, uh, again, hopefully some expensive silvers will pop. That guy's an expensive silver. Let me have him. No, why did you list him up for minimum and not 600 coins? He's worth like 3k. But yeah, so we're going to do this down to we get to about 50 minutes and we'll go and show you all the deals we managed to get. So five minutes of the cash away uh, method. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to show you guys what we managed to get ourselves. So I guess I'll uh, compare my <laughs> 20. Well, you guys can't see this, but this is 21 deals. I'll go and compare prices and uh, list them up as we go. So let's get that timer running. So the first person we've won right here is a Dabo. Got him for 500 coins. Dabo seems to be going... He used to be French, this guy, if I'm not wrong. He used to be a really rare silver. He's going for about 1.1k, so that's 600 coins right there. Uh, I managed to get two of this guy. This guy, I'm actually aware, isn't actually too good. I think he's about... I imagine he's about... Oh, he's like 650, so no money on that one. I actually want another one at about 500, so no money on that. But it's no loss, and that's why this method's really good, because you're not losing any coins. Uh, got the next one right here, which is uh, gold... Per... Lovely. Uh, 900 coins. We'll go there for like 750. Uh, lovely. Got the next one, which is Samir. Samir is gonna be probably the best part of like probably 950 coins or something like that. Beautiful. Uh, next one is gonna be Beretto. This guy looks like a B Tech Modric. Uh, yeah, he's like 650 coins. I actually won a fair few sentiments from this club, so I can imagine none of them are gonna be too amazing. Faris, Faris was one for 600 coins. Again, like, I, I can't imagine there going to be anything too crazy, but, you know, it adds up. Uh, 850, lovely. Next one, we got ourselves a uh, Squizzle. I know this guy used to be worth a bit, but that's normally when the CDM's expensive. Yeah, he's going to be best worth like 900 coins. Not too bad. Next one we're going to get ourselves is this guy. I can't, this team, Lekka's never really madly expensive. I think we'll go like 750 on it. Next one. Setting, setting went pretty good. I think we got him for 500. I think we get a 900 sell on that. Not too bad. Where's we've got Thornby. Again, we've seen these are all about 750. So yeah, I can't imagine he's going to be too much more than 650. Next one. This guy, I know he's about 500, 500, 600 coins. And so nothing too crazy on that one. But I say, you're making profit on all of them. And then you're seeing the old one where you make like 1k a bit. This guy's going to be good. Going for 1.2k. Uh, survey says we can get about 1.4. Yeah, about 1.4k on him. So... There we go. They're the ones you're, uh, they're the ones you're doing the method for. This guy, 450 coins. Probably going to get about 800 coins back for him. I say, because you're getting them for minimum as well, there's no, like, panic selling them. Going for 600. Ooh, not bad. Get about 900 coins for that one. And we're going to go and get ourselves 900 coins for the next one. Beautiful. We've got many more to go. La Gamina, again. Wow. Oh, yeah, of course this guy. This guy, yeah, this guy used to be, always be really good. 1.4k, so... Not too bad, 800 coins of that. Adara, mm, probably only going to get like uh, 850, I imagine. Where's else have we got left? I think we've got two Lires we bought at 500. Literally going to be 550. But I'll say, after doing this, you now learn who's expensive and who isn't. Like, you know, not to buy Ligres again. You know, not to buy whoever again. This guy's going to be 850, which is not bad. And then finally, what we'll do is we're going to show you what's sold on. And uh, yeah, it's not been uh, not been too bad of a run. So we've got eight things that I've gone and sold on. See if any of those were deals. Uh, no, they were pack pool cards. This guy got for like 600 coins. This guy got for like 400 coins. This guy we got for 500 coins. So, and that guy was pack pool. So not too bad. Got loads of silver selling on. We got ourselves about an hour till 6 p.m. I will plan on doing some ration, 6 p.m. rash investing on this account. So yeah, probably do one or two. Well, probably do the two other advanced SBCs now and then uh, go and open up the packs. So I've done the penultimate SBC and actually needed to do this one because for the last one I need one Patpool player. So hopefully in this one we'll be able to get a Patpool player. Now, it was actually a bit of a pricey SBC. I believe it came to uh, probably close to about 11k. For a 35k pack though, I'd say it's uh, worth the pub. Especially if they're worth 11k, that means all you know in relation the whole market is uh, is relatively high right now. So, let's see what we're going to get in our 35k pack then. So, I believe that is at least a boards. Is it a walkout? It's sadly not a walkout. It is a boards though. It's Jekko? Oh, it's Visca. Okay. Visca is not the worst in the world. He's still 84 rated. He's still probably about 3, 4k, I think. Again, 11k for the SBC. So maybe if we can have some pricey players, that'd be great. Maybe some of these would be expensive for SBCs, but all our rares seem to be in contracts. But there we go. There's that SBC. Actually, wait, looking at this, do we have someone we can use for the generic SBC? We actually have this guy. We should be able to use that guy for the generic SBC. Uh, if not, we could maybe use this guy. But I'm, I think we're going to go with... Uh, uh, and Greta Grito, which go work out how we can build the rest of the SBC around him. So we've done the last of the SBCs right here, and it's going to cost 16.1k. So let's go and do it and see if we can get anything good. So we've also got ourselves about 18 minutes till 6pm. So ideally, I'm going to buy these players and sell them pretty fast. 
Uh, so let's see what we get. So we don't want anyone too good, because otherwise they'll go and ruin the road to glory. So rare mega pack, rare players pack. Let's see what we're going to get. So in the first pack, we managed to get ourselves. Oh. So these are boards. It's not a walkout. Oh, it is shame. Belgium. Goalkeeper. Striker. Oh. I don't even know that is. Lukaku. Oh, Lukaku. Big Mike. Lovely. Any time I see Belgium, it always goes to Castiles. Every single time. Ooh, okay, you're going to be worth something, you're worth something. Because everyone's worth loads because of the generic SPC yeah. yesterday. Squad Finish, 950 apiece, and CDM submitted that pretty sells about 1.1. Lovely. And it's going to get the 50k pack done. So we're going to get anything interesting in that. And then we'll do. We'll probably just sell stuff on before 6 pm. I don't think it's true. That's not even a board. <laughs> that is the worst feeling ever when you open like a. But at the moment pack. it isn't actually, because anyone from a major true. league yeah. is worth quite good money. So, like Matthew, yeah. hopefully, if I magic. Because he's a French centre back and French centre back. Uh, probably still has like 1.5 on him. So we've got ourselves about 30 seconds now. Uh, there you go. About 30 seconds till 6 pm. So we just walk you through it. Sold on. All the SBC players we bought. Uh, sorry, not the SBC players. All the players we got in uh, packs. And uh, yeah, just the old couch way player. It's good to see 6k players sell on. But we got 40k. Uh, and if you guys don't know, basically at 6 pm content drops. And uh, you can just rash invest with. Um, well, you can just rash invest, uh, depends what's needed. Now, apparently it's already leaked that Amiivi is going to be the player SBC, which really sucks because, you know, if content's getting leaked, then you can't really invest in it because all the link investments are up. But it does not matter. Five, four, three, two, and one. So basically, I'm looking for the generic SBC. It's only really where the money is with this one. We've obviously only got 40k to work with. Do we have a foot 10? We do have a foot 10. The foot 10 is a prime electrons pack. Okay, that means silvers are going to drop, which means that's going to be good to trade with. Uh, what does it want? Players from the same league, minimum two, minimum three. Nations, minimum seven nationalities. Players from one club, maximum two. Rare players, minimum two. Okay, so it's a minimum or seven nationalities. Players from the same league, minimum three. So basically we're looking for counter race centre-backs, if I'm not wrong. Counter race centre-backs from weird leagues. Uh, let me just make sure it is a Meevee. It's player a Meevee. Yeah, it is. That is a mad, mad card as well. Um... What does he want? He actually didn't even want an expensive team. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go look at uh, buying centre-backs from the counter-A. That will be cheap. So let's have a little look. We're looking at counter-A. Centre-backs. Even goalkeepers might be quite a good one. Uh, right now, if they're going for like near minimum. Because people are basically going to have to use them. Uh, centre-backs, counter-A. Okay. They are already inflated. That's pretty crazy. Um, now let me have a look at the Inter Milan ones. I think they're both Italians. So I don't think that's really the play I want to go with. We'll have a little look nonetheless. Yeah, they're both Italian. Um, now, although they'll be the mainstream buy, I think what I'd quite like to go for right now would be the gold uh, centre-backs. Now, I want to go gold centre-backs that aren't rare, because rare centre-backs are normally a lot more common, and therefore I don't think we do as well. So, let's just look at picking up the guys. So, the idea is going to be putting as much money as possible. Now, let me just go and probably just go and single out this guy right here. Let's see if we can go and grab him. So, yeah, so the idea is that these would do well because of the uh, generic SBC. I only really like investing in non-rares, and the reason I like investing in non-rares is because, uh, what's it called? They have a way less supply, and having way less supply means the cards get rarer and therefore rise faster. But if I put all 40k in just this guy, that'd be brilliant because it'll make it way easier to track. Again, I could go and put the money in Rodriguez, but, and I know it does want a minimum of two rares, but I, okay, once, as I said earlier, uh, non-rares mean the player's rarer. It means they rise faster due to not being packs. Let's see how many we can get. Ideally, I should just go and probably put, like, Serbia in so I can find him. Let's just go and put Serbia in so we can go and find him. But, yeah, the idea is going to be putting my money in character race centre-backs because, again, it wants seven different nationalities. So that is where there should be some good money. So let's go Serbia right now. There we go. Let's see how many of Matey are left. Not going to be too many. Can we go and pick them up? No, they're being bought. Okay. So that's all right because we're just going to work underway of our uh, work underway of the next one. In fact, if I just went Serbia, no. Okay. So we've got centre-back number one. Let's go look for centre-back number two. So about number two, again, we'll go with the uh, Nigerian guys at LM in Nigeria. And let's see, maybe this guy you can pick up. Once again, going off the logic, if a player is non rare, okay. We'll up it to 900. There we go. Just because all the 800s are getting cleared out, and you kind of want to stay ahead of the curve, ideally. Alright, so we've got 30k to go and put in on him. Yeah, you can see all the 800s are getting bought up. So we can imagine it's just going to kind of follow that trend. So hopefully, we get the 9. Yeah, the 850s being bought up. The 900s, this guy getting bought up. Counterweight centre backs are on the rise very, very fast. 
It's okay. Still got 26k to invest. Invested a little bit already. Let's go and back out there and keep searching. Uh, gold, center back, counterway. Yeah, so we're looking to avoid the Italians. We're looking to avoid all rares, actually. Um, okay. Could look at... Let's go and throw that underway. Just want to go look for that next guy from ideally a weird nation. Argentina is quite common in the counterway. Brazil is quite common in the counterway. France is quite common in the counterway. You're looking for them completely out there nations if they want a minimum of seven nations. You could also look at left and right mids. That's another thing you could be looking at. But because it's a three at the back, uh, obviously needing two centre backs, we're looking for that. Honestly, Radu could be a play. Um... Should probably head over Fibbin and just look at counterway centre backs and try and look for the weird, weird sort of like, really, it's African nations because there's not a mad amount of uh, players from African teams in uh, in the counterway. So, can we find any more? Again, we're looking at the non rares ideally. I'll just jump over to Fibbin, it's okay. So, players, here we go. We're going to head over to centre back. We're going to head over to counterway. And again, this is just how you can utilise um, Fibbin. Cow. Couchway, come on, come on, come on. Couchway, couchway, couchway. Position, centre back. And want to go gold, non res. Gold, non res. Okay, so we've still got 27k to invest. It's chill. Zapata. I imagine he's probably up because people are looking for that link investment, right? Yeah, is he up a fair bit? He is up a fair bit already. No worries. Uh, Churches is already up. Tonali is already up. Actually, we'll go Churches. Chuchas will probably work. C H I R Chuchas. Survey says, yep, yeah, let's go with him then. Uh, let's bring that down to a K maybe. Because I presume, yeah, you're going to have to start paying a little bit more now. So we've made our overall investment. Uh, we literally have gone and got 49 cards on the side. You can see we've gone and put about 50K and I think a few things sold on. So we've got a few Smalling, a few Linkudu, a few Bastos. Uh, a lot of Milliver Nicks, a few Trossarts, and a few Yoshidas. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to look at these players every few seconds and uh, see what they're looking like. I mean, we can go look at them right now. So let's so have a little look. So we'll start off with this. Uh, I can't remember them by name, I'll be honest with you. So look at Serbian, Gold, Centre-Back, Countua. Come on, tell me you're looking good, buddy. Okay, well, that's, that's not looking good. I'll tell you that for free. 1.5. Yeah, okay. Well, that could have been better. Uh, the Nigerian guy. How's he looking? Ooh, he is looking good. Oh, he is He is looking exquisite right now. Like, that is very nice. So, we bought him for, like, what, 1k? We can potentially squeeze 2.4k out. But as soon as I sell one, everyone in my stream is going to try and sell at the same time. And he's going to crash very fast. Uh, let's have a little look what Smalling's looking like. So, we'll go England. Smalling's still cheap. Uh, and Kudu, uh, don't quote me on it, Cameroon maybe, okay, still cheap. Uh, next guy, I don't know, I mean, what, what are all gold centre-backs going for in the culture at the moment? Okay, probably anyone who isn't Italian is probably up, but that's not bad. Sadly, uh, the cards didn't actually do too good whatsoever. It doesn't seem like people are using culture centre-backs, but the, I'd say the logic's there, just obviously didn't do too well. So these all bought for a K. Obviously, we're turning over a little bit of profit. These all bought for 1.2 to 1.3, um... But yeah, so he's sadly not rolling uh, quite how I wanted it to do, how I wanted it to, but it's not the end of it. I'll probably made like 5, 10k, just sadly we put a fair bit of time into it, so it really wasn't really worth it. So we've gone and listed uh, up all the counterway setbacks. backs, so let's show you guys how they're all looking. Bastos is all bought for 1, 3. Milovex weren't too bad, bought them all at 800, flipped them all for 1, 2. Uh, Denswills bought at 1k, sold at 1, 7. Trosts uh, bought for uh, like 1k, sold for 1.3, so... Not too bad, as I made a little bit of money. One thing we'll do is we'll probably... I might even go on a side... Sorry. Might just go and pick up loads of good seal videos right now. Because, of course, uh, with this pack, we are getting an election pack, if I'm not wrong. Let's see if we can find it. With this generic SBC, yeah, we're getting ourselves a... Election pack. And as a result, it will drop a lot of the silver prices. So what am I trying to do right now? It's just bang out, like... I'm trying to think... Probably the Bundesliga. I feel like the Bundesliga... Uh, actually, no. The Couchway has got loads of expensive silvers. I'll probably bang out the Couchway and do the Couchway silver basic chem. So, and again, you've got to find the highest by now. Uh, Couchway might be up because of the SBC. Uh, you want to go Couchway, basic chem stuff, find the cheapest on the market. And then just keep pressing compare price back out until expensive players pop up. And then you want to buy them. But, yeah. I'm just going to sit on this filter maybe for, like, 10-15 minutes until we spent all our coins. So we've gone and got ourselves a few good deals uh, right now. Nothing uh, too crazy, and uh, so I'm not going to flip these for a while, but it's a bit, a bit of everything. We've got Aaron's right here at 1.7. Uh, should be hopefully something like about 3. We've got players like Tate, Tate, 
to Kekpete. Kekpete. For about 1.5k. So Lanky should be 2k. So this guy should be a 7 for 3.5k. Hopefully he'll go back up to 1.5. He'll go back to 1.5. But it's really weird right now because actually every single silver is being used for the SBCs. But they're also being supplied. So it's actually very, very hard to get deals. Unless you would previously know what the market was like. And then you'd go and buy the expensive ones. But... It's a bit of a mare at the moment, so uh, yeah, one thing I'll do is I'll probably pick up a few more silvers and then uh, call it a day for episode one. So I do want to get the rest of these coins all used up, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and put 50k right now into the expensive silver Bundesliga player via using this filter right here, because basically the idea is that I'm going to go put all my money in these silvers over uh, now, I'm going to hold on to them overnight, because I guess an exploit or a way how I can uh, make the most of the hours is holding on to stuff overnight, because obviously if I hold off stuff, holding on to stuff overnight, it's not counting in the 20 hours, and it's ideally, basically, it's making the most of uh, my situation. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to buy loads of silvers, hold on to them overnight, because theoretically right now they're spammed on the market because of the election packs. They become rarer and more expensive tomorrow when they're being less spammed on the market, and as a result, I'll be able to get more for my money. So theoretically, I put 50k in, who knows, they might double in price, and then I'm going to get 100k out. So I'm going to spend no longer than the next 30 minutes now, especially if we're going to snipe players. I'm going to spend no longer than the next 30 minutes now just trying to snipe some more expensive silver Bundesliga players. And I might try the Premier League and some of the other leagues. And, uh, yeah, the idea would be to buy them now and sell them tomorrow. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. But, yeah, what I'll do is I'll go and snipe some players and then give you guys a little update with how it's looking. So, we've gone and put our 50k onto players. Uh, we'll walk you through a few of the highlights. Uh, we've got a Mevi for 700. He's even currently going for 2k, but the plan of action is to buy and hold tomorrow. Go for you, Lietner, uh, Lightners, uh, for under a keg and hold, obviously. Well, obviously I'm buying. Everything I'm buying, I'm holding until tomorrow. So, take a pay for 650. Got a few of these. Um, Palmer left backs for a K. Uh, where else did we go? I mean, you can see right here we went a little bit heavier. Went and picked up like three of this guy for 2.5K. Went and picked up loads of uh, Bernazis for 1K. I say these are educated players I'm picking up, not just like random plebs. Uh, went and picked up like three or four Cabots. Where else we gonna go? When I picked up uh, a few of the centre backs, when I picked up about six or seven of them for 1.2k, so just went for a mix of silvers that I know are very expensive. So I was debating to do another SBC, but again, I do want to keep this trading based. Obviously, as I say, I get joked that these end up being a pact of glory, and you know the beginning gets carried by packs. But hopefully, you guys have had a good amount of trading. We'll pause the clock right now because I'm not really doing anything. But uh, yeah, so obviously we showed you a few SBCs, and we showed you silver filter, and now we showed you a little bit of rash investing, and now we're ending off with. Putting all our money in silver. So that at the beginning of the next episode, um, you'll probably see me either listing the cards, or I would have listed the cards in the time I would have been down. Uh, I won't be listing these cards overnight and not be counting again. Anytime we're listing cards, time goes. Anytime we're buying cards, time goes. Anytime we're even building SBCs, the time goes. So we spent just under three hours. That's the, basically the idea. I think we lost it probably about two hours, probably 50 minutes uh, or 40 minutes every single day for uh, seven days as such. So yeah, use my lotted time. Uh, I think we'll probably send about 100k, which obviously... You know, I need to be sitting on uh, about 150k if we're averaging a day or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's really not too bad. You know, we're getting the ball rolling. You know, we're, we're really doing silver trading. We'll probably potentially get up to special card trading tomorrow. It should be good. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. As I say, the whole thing's being streamed. So if you do want to head over to Twitch, feel free to drop them down below. Also, I'm doing a brand new uh, daily series where I show you guys the best snipes I get from my stream. Uh, with icon trading to give you guys a little bit idea about what you can sell icons for, which should be good. So... Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy episode one, and I shall see you guys tomorrow with episode two of Zero to a Million in 20 Hours.